Hello, I am Lawrence Skubanek, President of Texas Tech University. It is my pleasure to welcome each of you to this, the August 2020 virtual commencement of Texas Tech University. Please join me in a moment of reflection for our national anthem performed by the faculty membership at the Texas Tech University School of Music. Graduation is one of those special days in your life. This day represents the culmination of an incredible amount of work, determination, and sacrifice by you, but also by your family and all those who supported you. And what you've achieved is not diminished because we will gather to watch this virtual commencement ceremony on your television, laptops, or phones. As I told the graduates in May, it is not the graduation ceremony you would have ever envisioned when you began your college studies at Texas Tech. I would much rather be standing in front of you in the presence of your loved ones at the United Supermarkets Arena instead of looking into this camera. But we must not let the circumstances we face dampen our spirit of celebration for all that you, the August class of 2020, has accomplished. For some, Graduation represents another step in your academic journey, and for others, the beginning of a completely new chapter of your life. The pathway to this moment has presented obstacles, academic, personal, financial. But you have overcome those obstacles and met the challenges that were presented to you. That is why today we celebrate your spirit and your perseverance. These unprecedented times provide us with a valuable lesson on just how quickly life circumstances can change. But despite the challenges and the uncertainties we are facing, it is important to remember that your time at Texas Tech has prepared you for this moment and for your future. As Texas Tech has evolved into a world-class institution of higher education, we have remained true to what distinguishes our university, a sense of family, a place where students come first, and our graduates not only excel in their profession, but are leaders in their communities and known for their generosity and compassion. As a tier one research institution, we play a critical role in providing solutions that impact the quality of life, not only in West Texas, but in the entire state and the nation. These traits of the Red Raider family have been so evident as we have responded to this pandemic. It's in our DNA as Red Raiders to roll up our sleeves, go to work, and face our challenges head on. As August 2020 graduates, the skills and the character you have developed while a student at Texas Tech will position you to make special contributions now and in the future. That's what it means to be Red Raiders. Today, your immediate connection to Texas Tech is changing but you remain a part of the Texas Tech family, a family that is built on close personal relationships, common experiences, 
and a love and passion for a place where you spent some of the most defining years of your life. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Ted Mitchell, Chancellor of the Texas Tech University System. From the Texas Tech University System, welcome to graduation. I realize this is very different than what we're all used to with traditional graduation ceremonies. And if you think about it for just a minute, all of the degrees that you're getting now are representations of your ability to solve problems. And in this particular environment, this is a perfect example of what that means. Finding yourself with a challenge, looking for an opportunity related to that challenge, and then making the best of it. So those of you that are graduating today, think about this for just a moment. This is not the first challenge that we've faced as a nation. Look at your parents. Most of your parents would have lived through things like the Cuban Missile Crisis, the assassination of a president, the assassination of Martin Luther King. In the 70s, they would have lived through things like the Watergate Crisis, the Arab oil embargo, the Iranian hostage situation. In the 80s, they would have been around during the collapse of the Soviet Union and the falling of the Berlin Wall. And most of you then were born by the time that we had to face things like the Y2K bug, the 2000 dot-com bubble burst with the economy really tanking at that time. And then of course, there was September 11th. Your parents and you have lived through either one or even two wars in Iraq. The point with all of this is that as a nation and as a people, we've had to deal with crisis time and again and again. But I want you to remember something. Think back on your own childhood. Think back on what your parents did for you. During any of these times of crisis, what your families would do, what your parents would do, is they would still get up every morning, they'd fix you breakfast with a smile, they would get you ready for school, they would go to work, they would save money to prepare for your future. So here you are today. You're now receiving degrees that will allow you to do things that very few people in society can do. The educations that you've received and the degrees that you're being awarded today are representative of your ability to face challenges, overcome them, and not just survive, but thrive. So as part of this historical, virtual graduation ceremony, I would ask that you reflect for just a few minutes about the challenges that in your lifetime we have faced as a nation, about the challenges that your parents faced. And as you look forward, think about the things you can do to make this world a better place for those that will come after you, including someday your own children. Just remember always to strive for honor. And now it's my great privilege to introduce Chairman Christopher Huckabee, a graduate of Texas Tech University, and he will bring you a welcome on behalf of our Board of Regents. Thank you, Chancellor Mitchell. On behalf of the Texas Tech University System Board of Regents, welcome to virtual graduation, and congratulations to the parents, family members, and friends who join us today. This is a time of celebration, not only for each graduate, but also for our faculty who've invested themselves in each of our graduates this year. As a Texas Tech alum and fellow Red Raider, I pay tribute to those of you who will receive your diplomas today. The fact that you have reached this milestone is a sign of your commitment and dedication. You earned this degree through hard work and determination. We congratulate you. You pushed through the obstacles and you made it to this point. Well done. I'm sure many of you are already thinking fondly of the memories you created as a student at Texas Tech. As for some of those memories, I have advice. Sometimes what happened in Lubbock just needs to stay in Lubbock. I know that many of you are excited for this day so you can depart to that new job, the new city, or that next big adventure. 
But the longer you're away from Texas Tech, the more you will realize it's those little things that make being a Red Raider so special. You will come to realize the special traditions that hold all Red Raiders together and make us in many respects a family. Someday you'll be in a faraway city and you'll notice a double T on the car in front of you or you'll see someone proudly wearing a Texas Tech shirt. You'll feel an instant urge to get your guns up high. Again, a bit of advice. That guns up thing in the airport security line does not always work as our friends at TSA just don't seem to understand. So be careful with that one. Even when you aren't wearing red and black on the outside, I hope that you will always have it in your heart. Regardless of what you do, I am confident that you will become part of another tradition at Texas Tech. Graduates who've become leaders in their families and their communities. Maybe you'll go on to become rich and famous. Maybe you'll lead corporations, states, or even our nation. Regardless of where your career path leads, try to live by the words of the Matador song. Strive for honor evermore. If you do that, you will always find success. To all graduates today, congratulations. Please keep in touch. You are always welcome here. And as always, God bless Texas Tech. Thank you, Chairman Huckabee. It is now my pleasure to introduce today's commencement speaker, Regent Ginger Carrick. Ms. Carrick is the Deputy Director of the Exploration, Integration, and Sciences Directorate at NASA at Johnson Space Center in Houston. She began working for NASA as a summer intern in 1991 and started her first permanent assignment in May 1994 as a materials research engineer. In 1995, she was reassigned to the Mission Operations Directorate as an instructor for the International Space Station Environmental and Life Support System. She served as NASA's first Russian training integration instructor in 1997, providing support to the first crew that would live on board the International Space Station. In 2001, Ms. Carrick was selected as the first non-astronaut capsule commander, the person in mission control who speaks to the on-orbit crew. She was appointed a flight director in February of 2005, becoming the first female Hispanic flight director in NASA's history. She has been recognized by the Texas Governor's Commission for Women for her outstanding leadership and service to the nation's space program, as well as her commitment to inspire others through giving back. In 2006, she was one of five women named to the Texas Women's Hall of Fame and was recognized as a distinguished alumna in 2012 by the Texas Tech Alumni Association. Ms. Carrick is a native of El Paso and a two-time Texas Tech graduate receiving a bachelor and a master's degree in physics. The entire Texas Tech community is proud of Ginger Carrick and we are honored that she is addressing our graduates today. Hello, class of 2020. I am Ginger Carrick, and I am very grateful to have the privilege of speaking to you today, my fellow Red Raiders, to congratulate you on an extraordinary achievement. You have had to overcome so much more than any graduating class that I know of. During my senior year, my biggest worries were oversleeping and missing an exam, or wondering if my boyfriend would get a job offer in the same city as I did, or or hoping that I would gather all the data I needed to defend my master's thesis on time. I cannot imagine having had to deal with those standard graduation worries at the same time of dealing with a worldwide pandemic. Now, while that pandemic may have made things more difficult than you would like over the last five months, I really hope that you don't let what the pandemic took away from you be your focus right now. I hope that you can find some time today to think back on all of the positive events that have led you to this point in your lives. The support you received from your family, the friends you made, the memories that you've put in place, and start looking forward to the next phase of your lives. To those of you that have lined up a job, 
and or you have chosen to continue your education, I wish you the best of luck. I'm so happy for you. But for those of you that had a plan, but are now unsure of how it's all going to turn out, given the circumstances in the world, I just encourage you to have faith. I've been working at NASA for 28 years, and I have had a career here beyond my wildest dreams. But you know what? The career that I have had wasn't even close to the one that I imagined for myself when I was in your shoes on graduation day 30 years ago. Two months before my graduation, I had a job offer from NASA in my hand. But then the president declared a nationwide hiring freeze on all federal agencies, and I was my plans were ruined. It, the, the hiring freeze lasted several months, but I was eventually finally able to get into NASA. Then roughly a year into my employment at NASA, I applied for my dream job of being an astronaut. I was selected for interviews, and during the interviews, they discovered that I had kidney stones which was a lifetime medical disqualification. Now, my issues certainly were not the extent of dealing with a worldwide pandemic, but they were two major events in my life that were beyond my control, that impacted the direction that my life, that I wanted my life to go. Some of you may be facing similar situations right now. Some of the obstacles you may be facing are more of a pebble size, like the hiring freeze was for me. For those, I encourage you to tackle them head on. Move those pebbles out of your way, figure out a way to work around them and continue down the path that you have set for yourself. But some of the obstacles may be more like huge boulders, like those big kidney stones were for me. And no matter how hard you try to move those big boulders out of your way, they seem to be unsurmountable. For those types of obstacles, don't waste your time and energy. If they are blocking the path that you want to take, be courageous and go down a new road. Chart a new course. I'll tell you what, I am so glad I had those kidney stones. I am so glad that I did not become an astronaut. The career path that I have had at NASA because of that roadblock has been far more rewarding than anything I could have ever envisioned for myself when I was sitting in your shoes. I've been an instructor for the astronauts. I've lived in Russia. I've worked in Russian mission control, US mission control. I've served as a flight director in charge of mission control. And I never would have gone down those paths had I not been bold enough to choose a new path. So don't let today get you down. I know it's hard, but have faith. Have a positive attitude and be open to changing your course. Remember, you are fearless champions, fueled by raider power. You are well equipped to handle anything that this life throws at you. And you have a family in the Red Raider Nation ready to support you and cheer you along. So once again, congratulations, best of luck, and Reckham Tech. Thank you, Regent Carrick. It is now my pleasure to introduce our student speakers. We ask these students what it meant to them to graduate from Texas Tech, and they will share those impressions with us now. Our graduate speaker is Armando Elizalde Velasquez, graduating with a Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Toxicology. And our undergraduate speaker is Rachel Givens, graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Graduating with a PhD from Texas Tech University means the accomplishment of a goal that I set for myself 10 years ago. It comes with a lot of pride and a great responsibility, being the first in my family to earn a PhD from a worldwide recognized university. Three years ago, when I received my letter of admission from Texas Tech University, I remember being very excited about the possibility of pursuing an education in the United States. But at the same time, I remember being a little bit worried for not being able to pay the fees and tuition required for my education. Thankfully, due to the generosity of Mr. Arthur Waterman and the Helen Jones Foundation in the forms of fellowships and scholarships, I was able to pursue my dream and focus only on my research endeavors. I came to Texas Tech from Mexico looking for a top tier education, but at TTU I found much more than that. At Texas Tech, I became part of TIE, 
a renowned scientific community that has allowed me to collaborate and network with scientists from different universities and countries that share the same passion and interest as me in environmental toxicology. It gave me the opportunity to occupy a leadership position in an important professional society at local and regional level. It allowed me to improve my science communication skills by participating in the two minute thesis competition when I was awarded more than once. And it also provided me with valuable knowledge and technical skills to provide high quality research upon which environmental and human health policy decisions can be made. But what is more important is that along my career at Texas Tech and the three years that I have lived in Lubbock, Texas, have met people, made friends, and shared memories inside and outside of Texas Tech that have had a great impact in my personal life. And those memories and friendships are something that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. As an international student, I can tell that graduating from Texas Tech is a great honor and will definitely change my life forever. And for that, I would like to thank every single person that has been involved in my success, especially my parents. Thanks, Mom and Dad, this PhD is for you. To my fellow graduates and the class 2020, congratulations for reaching this milestone, despite the challenges that we have faced in the last couple of months. Graduating in the middle of a pandemic, surrounded with all the uncertainties and changes, is not the scenario that we wish to start our career. But that is something out of our control. What we can control is how we are going to react. And this is the moment to demonstrate that we are fearless and we are ready to strive for honor. So class 2020, go out there, pursue your dreams, and show everyone that from here it's possible. Hello. My name is Rachel Gibbons, and I am honored to share this amazing moment with my fellow graduates. Graduating from Texas Tech University means many things for us as students. First, it is an achievement well worth celebration. After spending hours in a classroom, studying, working, and learning, we finally made it to the finish line. All of the stress and anxiety, meetings with professors, and perseverance through the unexpected situation the pandemic created has finally paid off for us. This is one of the biggest milestones we have collectively achieved as graduates of the class of 2020. Our class will not be remembered for what we have quote unquote lost during the pandemic. We have reason to be joyful and celebrate everything we have gained. We gained an experience unique to us and we gained new insight for our purpose and for our goals. In the face of adversity, we the class of 2020 finished strongly and revealed a greater inner strength within us that will remain with us wherever we go. For some of us, it means we are ready to enter the workforce and proudly practice the skills, knowledge, and values Texas Tech has cultivated within us. For others, this is a stepping stone to go beyond and continue working for knowledge and experience through a higher professional degree. But for each and every single one of us, graduating from Texas Tech University means we are the image of what Texas Tech is capable of producing and forming in its students. Some of the core values we have learned together include integrity and perseverance in troubled times, as well as pride when we overcome and achieve our goals. Most importantly, Texas Tech taught us what it means to strive for honor. And with this, we have a special pride in our work and in our school. We are a unified student body, and our bond with one another lives on after graduation. Moving forward, we go out to spread the professional leadership skills the school has refined within us so that we can give back to Texas Tech and serve one another. I believe every single graduate from Texas Tech is a servant leader, and through this, we can show others what our school is all about. Graduating from Texas Tech is not the end for us. It is our obligation to represent the values, diversity, work ethic, and unity Texas Tech gave us to the wider population beyond our campus. We are proud to call ourselves Red Raiders because from this moment on, we are representatives of our university to the state of Texas, the United States of America, and the rest of the world. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Armando and Rachel. I would now like to introduce the provost of Texas Tech University, Dr. Michael Gallion. 
Degrees are awarded to those who have successfully completed all requirements established by the university and the faculties of their colleges and departments. President Skubinek, the candidates are recommended to you for the conferring of their respective degrees. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Texas Tech University, I confer upon each of you the degree for which the provost has recommended you. You may now turn your tassels to the left. Also, at this time, those who have the official Texas Tech Alumni Association class ring may turn their rings outward. Congratulations. We will now proceed with the recognition of individual graduates. Hello, I'm Margaret Williams, and I serve as the Dean of the Rawls College of Business, and I'm so happy to be able to be with you today. This is not how we thought we would be celebrating your commencement. Not only do we miss being with you in person today, we have missed you on campus, both in classes and outside of class. We've missed sharing in person your enthusiasm, excitement, trepidation, and even your senioritis. Every so often, our lives are disrupted by factors outside of our control. This is the biggest example of that I hope you ever have to endure. I wish you and your family health. I wish you safety. I wish you patience and wisdom and I wish you an abundance of support as we weather this storm and reemerge on the other side. Please know we are more proud of you than ever. We are here to help support you. So please stay in touch so that we can move forward together. And congratulations. It is my pleasure to introduce the Rawls College of Business undergraduate speaker, Eni Adewumi, who is graduating with a Bachelor of Business Administration and a major in Energy Commerce. On the 7th of August in 2016, the voice of an announcer came over the loudspeaker, asking us to queue to get on Turkish Airlines Flight 626. I was 16 at the time, and as I sat in the aircraft, I started to ruminate over my life. I had just gotten to Texas Tech University, and I was elated to gradually be moving towards my goals. While this was a great opportunity, it was also a great challenge for me, traveling across the world at such a young age. I always imagined this day to be a beautiful day in May or August, with thousands of other students wearing long robes, with our families in the stands, and maybe my mother begins to cry. Today is a day we've all dreamed of, but the fact that we are not in the United Supermarket Arena does not make this accomplishment any less significant. Graduating from Texas Tech University is a symbol of a goal come true for me, and a testament to the fact that no mountain is too high, no valley too low. With determination, nothing is impossible, no matter how young or old you are. I got through the prestigious energy commerce program, and even when the light at the end of the tunnel dimmed significantly, I was able to get through with the help of the faculty at the Rawls and my parents. I want to thank Texas Tech University for this great opportunity and appreciate those that made it a possibility. The faculty, the energy commerce department, the college of business, my family, mentors and friends. To my fellow graduates, these are challenging times, but remember, Henry Ford once said, when everything seems to be against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. A diploma is a ticket for you to go change your world. Remember as you graduate that the learning does not stop here. Make a vow to never stop learning, because more than ever, the world needs people that will look at the world in a rational way and make decisions based on facts and reason. But ultimately, in the process of growing, never lose yourself. Because according to Martin Luther King, intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. For those who lost job offers and for those that can no longer find employment, it is still absolutely possible to make a difference. 
Guns up and congratulations. Congratulations. I am proud of your achievement. Now you are part of a long and proud history of Rawls College of Business and Texas Tech University. Good luck with your next chapter of your life. The education at Texas Tech and at the Rawls College of Business has prepared you for new challenges and for you to fully harness your potential. We wish you grand success both in your personal and professional life. Congratulations on your graduation. We wish you a long and successful career. Go Red Raiders! Congrats graduates 2020. You've overcome much. From my supply chain students, get out there. The world needs your supply chain skills and excitement. Congratulations graduates and I wish you all the best. I hope I have a wonderful career ahead of you. I am dressed in my own graduation robes from Cornell University where I graduated a long, long time ago. You are done, done, done. Congratulations. We are so very proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. You're gonna do great things. We wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. And remember, wreck them forever. Congratulations on your achievement. Your grit and persistence have paid off. Now go show the world what it means to be a Red Raider. Wreck them. Congratulations on your graduation and best of luck in your new career. On behalf of the CGE, congratulations to the class of 2020. What an amazing achievement. Go and be great and always remember Reckham Tech. Congratulations, class of 2020. I hope you loved your time here at Tech. I can't wait to see what great things you do next. Reckham. Congrats, Rawls grads. I'm so proud of your achievements. Hello, my name is Robert Ricketts. I'm the director of the School of Accounting in the Rawls College of Business, and I'm happy to have this opportunity to say congratulations. We're very proud of you. We're not sure where you're going to go, but please know that wherever it is, we'll be rooting for you every step of the way. You'll always be a Red Raider, and I hope you'll always think of this place as home. Guns up. To all of the graduates of the Rawls College of Business Administration, I wish you congratulations and much success in your future careers. It's a tough time, and life could be even tough in the future, but see what you have achieved. You are so great. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. I wish you all the best and encourage you to take risks as they often lead to big rewards. Good luck and wreck them. Congratulations. We wish you all the best. We're so proud of you. Go Tech. Congratulations, Rawls 2020 graduates. You've done a great job this semester. You're smart, you're resilient. Well done. Congratulations, class of 2020. I would like to congratulate you on your graduation from the Rawls College of Business and Texas Tech University. I'm excited for you to take the skills and knowledge you learned in the college out into the marketplace and become business leaders. Go Red Raiders. Congratulations, everyone. Do not let the current circumstances undermine your big achievement. You did it. Congratulations, Rawls graduates. So congratulations on your graduation today and best wishes for your next adventure. I love this quote from Abraham Lincoln. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Graduates, we are so proud of you. Now go out there and create a fantastic future. I'd like to congratulate the class of 2020. You have persevered through a very challenging final semester of your program. Uh, wish you the best in your future endeavors. As a Texas Tech grad, you can count on a terrific career. One with many options, options within which you will have to choose which is best for you. Quick tip. Always go with the option that increases future options as opposed to reducing options. Best wishes for a terrific career. To our most recent Rawls alumni, congratulations. Welcome to the Rawls Raiders Network. Congratulations on your graduation. Congratulations. We're so proud of all your accomplishments. We hope that you'll stay connected with us as a Rawls alumni on RawlsRaidersNetwork.com. Congratulations to the Rawls class of 2020. We wish you well. We wish you great adventures. Remember, you always have a home here at the Rawls College of Business. Keep learning. Choose meaningful work. Make career choices that help you develop and strive for honor evermore. Best wishes for a great career. Congratulations to some of my all-time favorite students in the class of 2020. Just keep leaning forward and guns up. Congratulations on your graduation and the best wishes on your next adventure. Take care. Congrats, Rawls grads. Don't forget, keep your guns up. 
Congratulations, you did it. Good luck and stay safe. Congratulations, you made it. I know that these are not easy times, but difficult times require people like you. People that can leave a mark in the world, that can put a dent in the universe. People with the knowledge and skills that we have that you have been learning during these years. So go out there and make a change. Make us proud. Welcome to the professional world. Y'all are gonna be fine. You're gonna do tremendous things. And I am so proud to have known you. Congratulations, Rawls, class of 2020. Now go out there and make your impact on the world. There are so many of you in this class that hold a special place in my heart. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Remember to always strive for honor and to keep your guns up. My warmest congratulations on your graduation and very best wishes for a bright future. For my finance modeling students, may you always excel at what you do. Congratulations, Rawls College of Business 2020 graduates. This is certainly an event you will never forget. Congratulations, class of 2020. With your unmatched work ethic and determination, you have so much to be proud of. Bear our banner far and wide, Reckham. Congratulations, class of 2020. You've had a lot of verses this semester at the end of your career, but just remember, wherever you go, always make it a better place than where you found it. Hello, everyone. I'm excited to reach out to you. Under this circumstance, I'm proud of all of your achievement. Congratulations on your well-deserved success. Congratulations, you guys. Wish you all the very best. You are amazing. Reckham Tech. Congratulations, summer 2020 Rawls graduates. We are incredibly proud of all of your accomplishments and your hard work. Reckham. Look on the bright side. Finishing your degrees online this summer has been excellent preparation for starting your jobs online this fall. Hello, uh, congratulations on your graduation. Uh, and I hope you will do great with your future endeavor and keep in touch. Congratulations, class 2020. I wish you all have a great future ahead of you. Congratulations, students, as you make your transition from graduates to alums. Good luck. Congratulations, Rawls graduates. Graduate degrees are conferred through the graduate school upon recommendation by the graduate faculty. We will begin by recognizing those who have achieved the highest academic designation, a doctoral degree. Following the recognition of our doctoral recipients, we will recognize those students who are receiving master's degrees. Dr. Meng Zi Chen, Hooding Professor, Dr. Jack Cooney. Dr. Timothy Jun Kaskella, Hooding Professor, Dr. Jakey Song. Dr. Muhammad Abdurrahman Abdelanur Muhammad, Hooding Professor, Dr. Hans Hansen. Dr. Lori Lee Tribble, Hooding Professor, Dr. Teague Payne. Dr. Yiju Yu, Hooding Professor, Dr. Fred Davis. Ashley Marie Aguilar. Kiran Karim Ali. Zuliet Abisola Ali. Cristobal Baez, Nai Bao, Lucy Denise Barnes Moten, Erica Nicole Beeman Olascoaga, Jonathan Benavides, Thomas Gerard Benavides, John Christian Bruce, Stephanie Bui, Lazaro Javier Calderon. Tiffany Alexandria Cavazos, John Jackson Clifton, Jarrett Wayne Copperanham, Travis Lee Cox, Ren Z. Day, Dallas Taylor Dunn, Chase Logan Duran Williford, Christina Louise Eckert. Leola Lalita Echo, Connor Estes, Joseph Riley Flores, Christine Garcia, Melanie Gassan Gazawi, Marcus Daniel Gonzalez, Daniel Edwin Hayward, Scott Allen Hentges, 
Nung Nyok Huang, Alban Abraham John, Abdurrahman Fayez Karbat, Ranger Harris Kyle, Vishal Kandur, Mercedes Isabel Yanis, Christopher Ledane, Angelo Mariano, Harrison Dean Marsh, Jared Thomas Mellinger, Lois Mendez, Kate Eliza Morales, Anna C. Mario Madeira, Michael Nkembi Bello, Mike Umba Ntambwe, Chizzy Esther Ongbonia III, Valerie Anshures Gaona, Andrea Lucinda Paris, Niraj Patel, Kaylee Doris Querner, Gerardo Quinones, Adam Royce Rampy, Rochelle V. Randalls, Sylvia Rangel, Rose M. Reyes, Shonda Michelle Rogers, Stephen Steele Rossetti, Stephen William Skalski, Susan Safarali Shirali, Aram Siddiqui, Sydney T. Snugs, Rebecca J. Stark, Christopher J. Thompson, Kayla Odin Torres, Mark Joseph Tozzi, Philip Michael Trevino, Viren Jatendra Vasandani, Tyler Glenn West, Paige Larissa Willie, Dennis Mu Chisa, William Ojong, Taylor Darius Williams, Azar Hamidi, Efamina Christina Ogilo, Abigail Ann Carazal, Frank Cox Coates, Catherine Nicole Conley, Matthew Luis Demott, Chenachukwu James Ekueme, Bryce Austin Fison, Crystal Flores, Christopher Nolan Francis, Amanda Savannah Gentil, Timothy Donovan Gilliam II, Audrey Jade Green, Travis James Hall, TNT Chuang Huang, Kendra N. Hurley, Gavin Christopher Jones, Emily Madison Koch, Daniel Archiro Laredo, Victoria Madrid, Kent Ian Pierce, Mitchell Polan, Jackson Perez Powell, Sheikh Zaid Rehman, Kendall Rhodes, Michael Russo, Samantha Kayleen Thompson, Jarrett O'Keefe Villery, Jackson Moore Young. We will now recognize the graduates receiving the baccalaureate degree from the Rawls College of Business. Banner bearer for the Rawls College of Business and graduating magna cum laude, Crystal Nkuruka Onwukaif. I Thou Isabella Bui, Israel Rene Carejo, Abigail Ann Carazal, Carlos Alberto Castillo, Frank Cox Coates, Catherine Nicole Conley, summa cum laude, Melody De Pena, Afton Laurel Dixon, Kinachukwu James Ekueme, Wada Alaldine Fadel, Cum Laude. Bryce Austin Fison, Cum Laude. Crystal Flores. Christopher Nolan Francis, Cum Laude. Thomas Hinojos Garcia, Magna Cum Laude. Amanda Savannah Gentile. 
Timothy Donovan Gilliam II. Audrey Jade Green, summa cum laude. Tian Tai Huang Wang, summa cum laude. Kendra N. Hurley, summa cum laude. Jocelyn Annette Johnson. Gavin Christopher Jones. Emily Madison Koch, magna cum laude. Kyle Steven Kolonowski. Victoria Madrid, summa cum laude. Joseph David Petri. Mitchell Polar. Jackson Perez Powell. Cayman Lee Rivas. Sheik Zayed Raymond. Michael Russo, summa cum laude. Discard Daniel Simo Tokam. Samantha Kayleen Thompson. Jarrett O'Keefe Villery, magna cum laude. Jackson Moore Young, magna cum laude. Olasubomi Iniolua Aduumi, magna cum laude. Jake Randall Anderson, magna cum laude with honors from the Honors College. Sujan Aryal, summa cum laude. Bryant Andrews Blackburn. William Jared Couch. Kevin William Diaz Gonzalez. Dahlia Dupree. Salvador Jesus Fierro. Shayam Gandhi, cum laude. Donal Kobe Hamill. Zachary Thomas Manley, cum laude. William Dean Plunk. Samuel Burton Robertson, summa cum laude. Eric Perez Terion, cum laude. Hugo Andres Valverde. Luis Carlos Hinojosa. Christy Mbithi. Melissa Erzipe. Shane E. Butler. Christian Tanner Davis. Itzel Guadalupe Frias, cum laude. Julissa Garcia. Jay Garibay. Tyler Ray Gidney. Austin Garrett Haas. Christina Marie Hager. Noah Colden Hess. Luke Holleran Hodges. Caleb J. Horton. Diane Lynn Johnson, cum laude. Alexander Ryan K. Jennifer N. Kenyon. Derek Alexander Lamb. Marcus Oladapo Mabinuori. Kennedy Odahiambo Okello, magna cum laude. Devin McBrayer Phillips. John Pierre Quintana, cum laude. Amanda Marilyn Rainwater. Chanel Holly Rodart, cum laude. Tristan D. Sangster. Jonathan Edward Schleif, cum laude. Trevor Allen Shelton, cum laude. Clayton Scott Spittle. Berkeley Madeline Stell. Bailey Madison Vaughn. Dorletta Amandarez Lassa. Abby Caroline Berger. Alexander McKendry Churchill. Bailey A. Davis. Peyton Cheyenne Dutton. Lauren Francis Finelli, magna cum laude. Esteban Javier Garcia. Sabrina Alicia King. Kaylee Michelle Kinsey. Lauren Elizabeth Lobmeyer. Anna Elizabeth Lowe, magna cum laude. Daniela Martinez. Casey Lane Mushinsky. Kalichi V. Obi, cum laude. Ty Adam Parker. Victor Plaska. William T. Reed. Carlos Eduardo Salazar. Caleb Walker Schnatz. Tatum Riley Stewart. 
Thomas Alexander Tele Serrano, Thomas Parker Torres, Gilbert F. Van Zant, Chloe Elizabeth Wall, Taylor Todd White, Jacob Matthew Federoff, Taylor Jordan Konowalski, Marlene Ortiz Cum Laude, Decker Wayne Reno, Chase M. Austin, Eloy Henry Del Bosque, Keval Gala, Marissa Brooke Williams. Congratulations to all graduates. In an effort to keep all of you connected, each undergraduate will receive a complimentary one-year membership to the Texas Tech Alumni Association made possible by the Office of the President and a one-year membership to the Red Raider Club made possible by a generous gift from George and Linda McMahon. It all began with the first loud and proud graduates of Texas Tech. Those dreamers and trailblazers had a vision to create an organization that would serve as a connection for alumni to one another and to the school they loved so dearly. A vision to give back by supporting the next generation and help the university continue to grow and strive. That vision for the Texas Tech Alumni Association has never changed. We represent more than 200,000 alumni across the world. No matter what you do or where your life takes you, you're part of the loud and proud alumni of Texas Tech. You're one of us. encouraged to maintain contact with Texas Tech University through your alumni association. The association is particularly pleased to honor the undergraduate students ranking highest academically in each college and will recognize this accomplishment with a plaque mailed to each of the highest ranking students. Please join me in congratulating these honor students. Graduates, as we come to the end of this commencement exercise, I appreciate the opportunity to again offer my personal congratulations. You should know that the Texas Tech University community is proud of you, just as are your parents, loved ones, and friends. And I know you join with me in acknowledging and thanking them for all they have done to help you get to this important point in your life. The contributions of our faculty and staff have also been an essential part of your educational experience and I join with you in acknowledging the important role they have played in your educational and personal development while at Texas Tech University. You've changed and grown during the time you've been at Texas Tech, but you've made a difference in Texas Tech as well. You've impacted the lives of your classmates some of whom will be among your best friends for the rest of your life. Your personal successes and achievements have and will continue to elevate the reputation of our university. With your talents, your Texas Tech education, and the persistence you've displayed in earning your degree, you are well positioned to succeed. But your ultimate success in life is not determined by what you know today but rather by what you continue to learn and how you continue to grow, both professionally and personally. Be a lifelong learner. Nurture your intellectual curiosity. Be committed to your family, to your friends, to your community, and to causes that make a difference in this world. You reveal your Red Raider character from the commitments you make. Strive for honor evermore that is an essential part of what Texas Tech is about. And because you are Red Raiders, there is an expectation that you will change the world for the better. We know that you will add to that legacy. 
Remember that Texas Tech University will always be your home and friendships made here will always be a part of your life. Stay connected to Texas Tech. Your university will be the better for it. Return to campus when you can and tell the world with pride that you are a Red Raider. To the class of August 2020, I extend my heartfelt congratulations and best wishes for success. And always, go Tech. And now, let's join in the Singing in the Matter of Song, which will be led by the 2019-2020 University Choir. to be